As many of you know, a couple of weeks ago, several people from our congregation spent part of a Thursday morning uh, putting invitations to our holiday worship services on the doors of our neighbors. And then this Sunday, we will be going back into those neighborhoods uh, to do some caroling. And we hope that you join us. The, the weather, from what I can tell, is supposed to be cool uh, but sunny. Uh, we hope that you, you make plans to join us. We'll meet here at the church a little bit before 3 uh, and then walk over to those neighborhoods. And the reason that we're doing all of this, and one of the reasons we encourage you to invite others to, to join us, is to seize the opportunity this season provides to extend the love of God through hospitality and welcome to our neighbors. For some reason, I don't know if it's sentimentality or uh, romanticism or a desire to connect with the stable or familiar People are more open to attending church during the Christmas season. In fact, some studies have shown that 57% of people who aren't attending church during the Christmas season would if someone invited them. And we want to try to, to use this occasion. Now, we hope that people will accept the invitation and join us. And when they do, that is when we can... Uh, show off our greatest asset, which is our people. And I wanted to share with you just a couple of ways we can demonstrate exceptional hospitality uh, to those visiting with us this season. One way is to be aware of people who seem to not know where they're going or, or what they're doing and offer help. For example, if a parent with children, especially young children, is visiting our church and they're looking for the nursery or the bathroom. Offer to show them where it is. Not just tell them where it is because they probably don't know anything about our facility. Offer to take them uh, to wherever they need to go. Another way is to be aware during our worship services, especially if the sanctuary is getting full, uh, for people looking for a seat and offer to give them yours. If we need to uh, have people stand in the back or in the narthex for a minute while we get chairs, I would be extremely grateful if it was one of us who was standing instead of a visitor. And a third way to share God's love with others this holiday season is extremely simple. Just smile and be friendly. One thing I hear from our congregation about welcoming unfamiliar people is uh, they may have gone here for uh, six months and gone to the other service, uh, and I don't want to offend them. The best response I have for this is to just be friendly to everyone. And when engaging someone you don't know, simply say, it's great to see you today or tonight, and how are you doing? You don't have to ask if they're a visitor. You don't even have to ask them their name, but you can still be friendly and hospitable. See, we have a great community at Blackman United Methodist Church, and, and this is the time uh, when we can show that off. This Christmas season provides a unique opportunity for the church to, to share the good news of great joy with the world around us, and I hope that we use this to the fullest. Now, as we close, as always, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. But if you need anything at all, please don't hesitate to let us know. Have a great rest of the day, and God bless.